Radio Rahim here with Logan Paul. We're on the red carpet. Fight week has begun. This is not the first fight week you've had, but this is the first one as a pro and in your hometown. Talk to me about the difference between this Monday and the Monday before the time you fought KSI the first time. Um, I don't want to say last time I was nervous. I was uncertain of the outcome. I, I, I Again, I kind of knew how to box, not really. And this year there's just a, a an overwhelming confidence that I didn't have last year. And I think you guys are going to see that in all the media leading up to the fight and especially in the fight. In your documentary on 40 Days, you talked about a bit of redemption, a bit of what you were going through just before the first fight with KSI. And maybe that's where the confidence was shaken. Do you feel like having had that experience and the year since then has not just changed you publicly, but internally? Quite literally, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. If I was going to die, it was going to be last year. Like KSI had his window, the window has passed. I am. I am as invincible as they can come at this point in my life. Or that's how I feel anyway. Uh, yeah, the window's, the window's passed, man. And it's unfortunate that he wasn't able to capitalize on that. Well, you're a pro now, and we have to look a little bit at the technical side of what's going on. Everybody's dealing with, like, who's a celebrity, who's talking the most trash. But once that bell rings, none of that matters. How are you changed as a fighter from the first time you fought KSI to what we're going to see on Saturday night? I'm lethal, bro. I'm smart, I'm strategic, and I know how to move like a boxer. Last year I, was, I, I moved like an athlete who just learned how to box. This year I'm a, I'm a boxer. I'm a professional boxer. And you, you, I mean, shit, man, I sound like a broken record, but I think people are going to be surprised when after the fight everyone's going to say, oh, my God, Logan Paul can fight. They, they, there's a real future here. You started fast in the first fight. It ended up being a draw because you appeared to gas late. How have you addressed that issue? And knowing that these gloves are smaller and there's no headgear, are you looking for an early knockout so you don't have to face that issue at all? Um, I don't. I mean, obviously, I'm. I'm. I'd like an early knockout, but I don't know if I'm looking for anything per se. The only thing I've, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for is any mistake he makes, even the most minor mistake that he makes, which he makes a lot because he's sloppy. I'm going to capitalize on it. I am. I am a heat-seeking missile for JJ's errors. And if again, if he does, throws one wild punch or moves his head in the wrong direction, he's going to get clipped, and it's going to be ugly. Um, what was the first part of your question? Just, do, you, do you remember? <clears throat> yeah. How have you changed uh, from the first time you gassed a bit uh, in the uh, second yes. half of the fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was doing a lot of things wrong last year, and I've actually never said this publicly. And Shannon, you're not going to want to hear this. I took pre-workout before the, okay, the fight. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's what like, it was. Like, I, well, well, you wasn't tired. You was excited. Well, I got uh, adrenaline crowds. First time boxing, 15,000 people watching. It was just a lot, and like I can handle a lot, but I don't know. That was a lot. <laughs> you crashed during the fight because you took uh, bro, pre-workout. Bro, bro, 100 to zero. Like normally, it's like. Okay, like that round was hard. I'm beginning to feel tired. No, it was like end of round two. I was like, I'm a fucking animal. Beginning of round three, I'm like, oh, I can't feel my arms. Like it was a, it was a crash. That's not natural. That's not like physically normal. There was no gradual decline. So yeah, this fight's gonna be a little different. I'm sparring ten rounds every day or three ten-minute rounds every day. Uh, I don't know. I think JJ's JJ's game plan to rely rely on me getting tired because it seems like that's what he's planning to do i think it's gonna slap him in the face when he realizes that's not gonna happen none of us can wait until this saturday night on the zone ksi versus logan paul the rematch professionals no headgear 10 ounce gloves can't wait to watch you perform radio raheem with logan paul